what made me want to join the RAF Falcons? Uh, probably a sense of pride. Um, I got inspired as a young boy to, uh, when I saw the RAF Falcons jump in, um, to become an RAF Falcon. So I think that was probably it for me. And um, I sort of wanted to take on that mantle and maybe inspire a future generation to uh, join the whole effort. From the onset of becoming a uh, parachute jumping instructor, I knew that coming onto the team would be the biggest ambition that I'd want to do. I mean, who wouldn't want to join the, the RAF Falcons going around all around the country, um, even in Europe, um, to display in front of thousands of people? Why would you not want to do that? What made me want to join the RAF Falcons was uh, career progression. It's an important um, stepping stone onto uh, furthering my military parachuting. Um, but also the idea of being on a team with like-minded individuals and um, doing parachuting activity that's real close and compact and working hard as a team, it, it really appealed to me. To be part of the RF Falcons is uh, it's a very specialised job. It's something that's unique and challenging every day. Uh, from one day to the next it can be very different and varied, so it's something that always keeps me on my toes. Uh, this year's display season has been really enjoyable and a great experience for me, especially as a first year on the display team. I joined the RAF Falcons because I wanted a job that, uh, that wasn't an everyday job, uh, something exciting, something that we could go and meet people and, and hopefully inspire other people to join the RAF and take advantage of the opportunities that you get given. I wanted to join the RF Falcons as soon as I joined the Air Force, seen everything in the recruiting videos, and when I realised it was part of the trade structure that I joined, I thought that's the job I would like to do. It's a privilege to be part of the, uh, the RF Falcons, certainly um, since they were formed in 1965 there's been a, a large number of people on the team, so to have been a part of it uh, for this year and for the next two years uh, forthcoming is, is, is a real privilege. I still get nervous, just before I jump with the aircraft, I always get nervous. Um, but I like the fact that I get nervous, it tells me that I'm switched on and I'm concentrating on what I'm going to be doing. Um, I take in a little bit more than I used to, so obviously the first time you jump out it's a bit of a blur, now I'm able to analyse things and see things a bit more clearly, uh, but it's still the same excitement. So we've been all the way up to Scotland, even though uh, that display didn't actually go because of the weather, all the way down to Cornwall, so we've done the length and breadth of the country. I really enjoy this job, it's the best job I've had while I've been in the Air Force, but I'm leaving on great terms as I've been promoted, so a bit of mixed emotions for me. After becoming a commission officer about seven years ago, the opportunity was there to become a parachuting instructor, which is something you simply don't turn down, and with that came the opportunity to join the Falcons. So uh, I was offered the job two years ago, uh, and it's a real privilege to, to bring that to life. I never thought I'd be in this position, and, and certainly today, after 15 years of service, this is going to be definitely up there as one of the key highlights. The most memorable part over the last three years for me, I'll have to re revert back to it, all the lads will give me jip on this one, but is jumping in into Buckingham Palace on my very first year. I mean, there's, there's nothing more that can top that, um, not just only for the location of where it was, but for the actual cause that it was for. Um, so I was really honoured and privileged to be, to be part of the team when we are able to do that. This year uh, I've continued role uh, to maintain all the team's uh, survival equipment, uh, making sure their parachutes are serviceable, any updates that need to be carried out, uh, and also responsible for a lot of logistics, so getting up and down the country, uh, making sure we set up the drop zone correctly, and then also we prepare for any overseas uh, training exercises as well. Being part of the RAF Falcons has been a, a fulfilment of a career ambition of mine, so it's been a really great experience and I've been really proud to, um, to lead the team as well. The team have been amazing to work with and it's been really exciting doing, uh, doing jumping for, for a living basically. It's been a great season for me, it's been my first year, we've done some fantastic displays. Next year I'll be in my third and final year so um, taking on a bit more responsibility, potentially leading a few of the displays depending on uh, whether the coach wants me to do that or not. Um, but I would say for next year, although we haven't got the displays confirmed as of yet, um, you know, fingers crossed that we get some of the big sporting events. This year we've been all over the United Kingdom, from the south coast in Wade Bridge, across the southwest of the country, to the beautiful delights of North Norfolk and my hometown of Grona Carnival. We've enjoyed Sunderland Air Show, to the north coast of Scotland, up in RF Lossiemouth and Peterhead. When I first embarked the aircraft, it's a, it's a feeling of uh, full concentration. 
Um, I know when I was learning to skydive, uh, it was more of a fear of dying, but a flight sider once said to me, once you get over the fear of dying, I'll start enjoying it. Um, we're way past that now, so um, before display, um, in the door, full concentration, and all I'm worried about is, is getting onto the stack and putting on the best display possible. Next year, I'm looking forward to, there's going to be a few changes next year, so we've got a new team coach coming in, a few new members, and probably the thing I'm most looking forward to is the Falcon Stack exercise in America, where I'll actually be leading some of the new team members. So as a third year, uh, I've already done my display leader course, I did that in my second year, but next year on the Falcon Stack exercise, I'll be leading uh, the new members of the team, so I'm looking forward to that added responsibility have two memorable parts. Uh, one would be standing on the starting line at the Formula One. That was something I'll never forget. Uh, and the other one was the Bryce Norton Families Day. Having my wife and kids there uh, to come and support me and watch what I do is really quite special. The most memorable part over the last two years has definitely been um, carrying the trophy at Silverstone after jumping in on race day uh, on the Sunday. We managed to go down the pit lane uh, with the way the winds were and the crowd there was amazing and really, really well received. To be part of the RAF Falcons is, is brilliant. It's great working in a, a small knit team, uh, looking after each other and helping each other out. My most memorable part of being part of the RAF Falcons was probably my first year when we celebrated RAF 100, getting out um, in front of all the public, going as far as Belgium, um, representing myself as a survival equipment technician uh, and representing the Air Force. That feeling that I had jumping out of the aircraft came for me from when I very first came to PTS. I, I was really excited, probably a little bit daft, um, but I did really enjoy it and ever since it's just got easier and easier and easier and you just don't really think about that you're jumping out of an aeroplane. You just think to yourself, right, I've got to concentrate on this task, I've got to be in a good column uh, and not hanging out the back trying to get on, the, on top of the stack. Some of the displays that stand out for me are uh, Silverstone for the Formula One. Um, that was my highlight of the year. Um, but also doing some of the more local uh, country shows up and down the uh, country. So the Royal Cornwall Show and the Lincolnshire Show, which is my hometown. So it's always nice to do a hometown display. Jumping into the Lincolnshire Show with family and friends on the ground is always a nice feeling. It always just puts that little bit extra onto uh, onto my individual performance, and uh, you know I just want to make sure that I obviously put on the best possible display that we can do to uh, to try and impress as many of my friends and family as I can. My most memorable highlight for this year would be the Formula One Grand Prix and standing there next to the podium while Lewis Hamilton took the win in front of a massive British crowd. A real special moment for all of us. The most memorable part of the season for me has been the Formula One Grand Prix at Silverstone. That was probably the highlight of the year. The most memorable part is getting the guys qualified. It's their ratification in my role as team coach. Yeah, so it's my second year um, on the RAF Falcons and this year's display season has been as enjoyable as last year's. Uh, for me, and I, I guess for most of the guys, it would be Silverstone. Um, we displayed two days there over the three days, so we displayed on the practice day. Then we were there for the qualifying day and then we displayed again actually on the uh, on the race day itself. Um, so the experiences that we were able to, to gain from that was, was unbelievable. Uh, so what we're looking forward to next year, just more displays um, around the country and hopefully maybe something over in, in, in Europe or somewhere abroad. We've had a really varied, exciting year going up and down the country to various different locations as far as Scotland and down as far as Cornwall um, with lots and lots of exciting stuff in between. As my last year on the team, I'm pretty devastated to be honest to be leaving because it's such a fantastic um, job uh, that we do, getting to go around, meeting people after displays, especially when we get to perform in front of thousands and thousands of people who really appreciate what we do. And, uh, and then just getting the reception of, of when we land and then going, like I said, meeting and greeting people, which is absolutely fantastic and interacting with the public, which is what I love doing. What I'm looking forward to most next year um, is become the third year on the team. So we're the most senior parachutes on the team beside uh, the team coach. So we get a lot of lot responsibility. Um, it's more the mentorship um, with the new lads coming on and teaching them how to stack right, and guiding them through their, their first year. With a heavy heart, I'll leave the guys I've trained as display parachutists. But the world keeps turning and life goes on, so moving on to past is new.
Next year, I'm looking forward to different challenges of working with a new colleague, um, hopefully doing some different displays, different parts of the country, and fingers crossed, maybe for an overseas uh, display as well. Well, most memorable part of this display season is definitely got to be the Formula One at Silverstone. Um, it's one that I will definitely look back on at the end of my career um, with fond memories. This year, my family have actually been able to see me jump at the Great Yorkshire Shore. So next year I'm just looking forward to progressing my, uh, my career as a parachutist as well as a display parachutist. Um, we don't know what we're going to be displaying next year. This display season has been a really memorable one for me. It's taken me all over the UK, from the north of Scotland to Northern Ireland, down to Cornwall and as far east as Cromer in Norwich. So next year I'll have the opportunity to jump. Um, really exciting opportunity. Of course that comes with a bit of nerves doing my first few displays. I'm sure will be quite nerve wracking but hopefully once I get a few good displays under my belt, I'll get into the swing of things and hopefully have a great year. My five years with the RF Falcons have been a great and immense privilege. So I'm sad to be leaving the team this year. Um, I've really enjoyed my time. However, I'm staying in parachuting, so um, I get to carry forward all the things that I've learned in this role onto the next one. We've done some very high profile displays. Um, I know a lot of lads mentioned the Silverstone one, but for me, the, the local one at um, Prize Normal Family Day is, is really nice for me. Um, we spend a lot of time away from our family, so it's quite nice to do one in front of our friends and family and get to spend a bit of time with them afterwards as well. One word to describe this season. Mm. Outstanding. Inspirational. Busy. Exciting. Enjoyable. Challenging. Inspirational. Unbelievable. Unforgettable. Brilliant. Exciting.